Guys, I finally woke up from my nap. Wow, would you would you look at the time? It appears that it is actually a Sunday at uh, twelve thirty. No, 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 one thirty p.m. EST. Can you believe that? Oh my God, that's so strange. It's, it's so strange how those things happen. Hi, everybody. Hello. What's up? What's up? What's up? How are we doing? How are we doing? What's going on, man? What's 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 the what's the tea? What's the what's the tea? Hello. <laughs> Hi, I miss you. Well, not really. I kind of I kind of had an overdose of you guys, but um I'm okay now. I'm okay. You know, we're we're good. We're good. It's fine. So, but yeah, hi everybody. Hi, 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 hi. She's trying to increase her words for a minute. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to kill you. Hi everybody. It's 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 been a few days. I hope you could live without me for a little while. Um Good morning, Luke. Good morning! What's going on, man? She unironically hates us. Yeah, I hate you. I hate you! Boo! Dislike, thumbs down. Yeah, that's right. You better be scared. You better be scared. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, everybody! Hi! I have so much to talk about with you guys. I'm so excited. I wanted to... I think initially this was supposed to be a karaoke stream, but honestly, um... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, to be honest with you, um, I, uh, okay, so, I was sitting somewhere with some of my friends today, oh, just, <laughs> just gifted zero memberships, oh, sh oh my god, thank you for the ten gifted subs, what the fuck, uh, th thank you, huh, hello, uh, thank you, oh my god, <laughs> um, I don't know why it's showing two of those, but holy shit, thank you. Oh my god. Hey, holy shit, thank you. Thank you, Yukon. That's, oh my god, that's so nice of you. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, welcome Tyrone, welcome Perilous, welcome Volksa, welcome Seven's Requiem, uh, welcome Herr Re 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 Regan, welcome Luke Perkins, welcome Cactus Plays, and welcome Lifeless Space, and welcome Kramish to the PMC. Woo! Thank you so much, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Holy shit, dude! I thank you for the generosity, Jesus fuck! Oh my God, I'm hiccuping. Sorry. I think the sandwich that I ate gave me hiccups, but Jesus fucking Christ! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I don't know why you did that immediately after I said I hated you, but thank you. I don't hate you, actually. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. That's actually so wild. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, he's spreading the Louvre. Thank you. Holy shit, man. What a, gr what a great start to this stream. Thank you, dude. Canadian love is only worth about 70% of American love, but it's still love. Hey, man, we don't make fun of our Canadian friends in here, okay? You know, you know, every, every, every cent, every, every dollar that goes to the Loop PMC is a dollar well spent. So, we're, we're good. Seriously. <laughs> She's lying. Fuck off. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. Sorry, I don't have much to... I actually do have a lot to yap about. Well, she likes one of us now, at least. Ha ha ha. One, do you want... Oh my fucking god, I hate how the YouTube heart like obscures it. Do you wanna do you still wanna kill us? Um a little. A little. But that's okay. I mean you, you know, I mean it happened, you know, whatever. You know, killing people I personally don't think is really that big of a deal. Well, you know, one life really. I you know it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> you know, you'll you'll get over it. You'll get over it. <laughs> but yeah. Um Yeah. Canadian dollars are fine, even though they're covered in maple syrup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess, I guess that means he's getting more bang for his buck then, you know? Late Lou? Nuh uh. Well, maybe a little, but not that late. But yeah, hi everybody! I was planning on doing a karaoke tonight to celebrate doing a successful 24-hour stream, but um, to be honest with you, I was sitting somewhere today and an ant crawled up some type of bug, I think it was an ant, it crawled up my shoulder, and, um, I got jump scared by it, and I smacked myself in the face while trying to get the ant off of my shoulder, and I hit myself in my lip and busted my lip. <laughs> so, it's, it's great, 
we're good. We're good, actually. We're, we're, it's fine. I, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Man. Jesus Christ. Well, the person you kill will get over it. Techn we're technically under it. <laughs> good lord. Canadians equals Looney Tunes money. Goofy hot country. Hey! Be nice. The Canadians are nice to us, so we have to be nice to them. That's it, Lou. You cross the line. I'm going to go rabbit hunting. No, uh, 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 uh. What's the plan for today, Lou? Sandwich reveal? Nah. I had, um, I already ate it all. I had a... Can you sit up? You're slouching. Fuck off! I hate how you can actually tell that I'm, like, slouching. I'm just far away. Here. Da, 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 da. Hi. Sorry. Here, I'll move myself up. I was actually, like, oh, no, fuck. Wrong, wrong, wrong thing. Here we go. Now you can see me in my full glory. Hi. So no illegals in my yard tonight? No, because they're not in my yard, dude. No karaoke tonight. My tummy hurt. No, my lip hurts. And it's been bleeding. Please, please forgive. <laughs> I literally, I busted my lip open and now it's kind of bruised. So, uh, I don't know if it was because I like struck myself in the face or if it's because while I did that, I bit down. And then, oh, what the fuck? It also, like, doubled it. Oh, spinach just came out of my mouth. Ew. But yeah, sandwich today was ham, bacon, and mozzarella on white bread, toasted, and spinach, spinach, red onion, tomato, mayo, and avocado. Mm. Smashed avocado. Like, guacamole, kind of. I, I don't know. Whatever the fuck it is. It was, it was really good. It was really good. That's my favorite. That's my favorite sandwich to get usually. Um, sometimes I'll add banana peppers. It depends if I'm in a banana pepper mood, but you know, spinach reveal. Fuck, you just want to see. No, I'm not saying that. You just want to see something that's been in my mouth, haven't you? You fucking weirdo. You fucking. You fucking loser. Can I give you sympathy for your lip after hearing how stupidly you heard it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it, dude. I. White bread, gross, dude. It's all they had. I'm sorry. And like, listen, it's not my fault that the, the, the ant jump scared me so hard. Okay, that's not my fault. Okay. <laughs> listen, man, listen. <laughs> so, but yeah. I don't know. Can you make lots of sandwiches for us? Anyways, guys, so that's the stream today. I hope you guys had a really good rest of the, have a really good rest of your night. And yeah, I'm going to see you. Uh, you know, uh, take care and oyalumi. Oyalumi. No, nah, I'm just playing. But, uh... <laughs> I will kill you if you make that joke again. I will... You will die. You can't call white bread gross. That's discrimination. If we're going by Niji Sanji rules, that's not discrimination. <laughs> How small are you to be jump scared by an ant? Okay, 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 okay. Listen up, listen up, listen up. I got something... I got something to tell you, okay? So, so, so... <laughs> so, um... We're not getting early 2000s pop punk karaoke. Um, you will next week. Next week, I have a full week of streams planned, including like other fun stuff. We're probably gonna finish Hotline Miami and then I'm going to be doing karaoke. I might do, oh God, I don't, I don't know if the, how well this would work, but I, I maybe a dr drinking stream. I don't know if I wanna do it yet or not, but I, I, I don't know, it, it, it could be fun, but I'm also not entirely sure. So, um, <laughs> holy shit, thank you again for the 10 Canadians, dude, you're being so generous, you're being so generous, stop, holy fuck, <laughs> thank you for the, for, for the, for the 10, Jesus Christ, another sample of her hate, her lips bleeding because she got it pierced, oh no, 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 no. Listen, man, listen. Um, it's, I didn't know. If I was to get, if I was to get another part of my body pierced, because the only, the only thing that I have pierced right now is my nose. And that is on my left side of my face facing myself. So like my left, not, not your left. Um, if I was to get another, and I also have my ears pierced, but like they're, they're just my ears and there's nothing special about them. It's just on the part where they're, they normally get pierced. So if I was to get another part of my ear pierced, um, 
I would not not ear pierced. If I was to get another part of my body pierced, it would be my belly button, I think. I've been wanting to have a belly button piercing for a really long time because when I see them on other girls, they look really cute, especially if they have like abs and stuff. I, I think they're really cute, so I, I really want one. I think it would look cute. She got that cow nose piercing. No, I don't have a septum piercing. I have um, one of the, I have a little tiny dot. What is it called? I have a, I have like a stud on the one side of my nose. Yeah. Toe piercing. I don't think that's how that works. Hello. Hi, Unbroken. What is your name? Chi, Chinzu? 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 Is that how you say that? I, I don't know if I said that right. So, would you rather get snake bites or a lip piercing? Um, it's a good question. Snake bites. I think snake bites look cooler. Hi, hi, hi. I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna die. I'm <laughs> I'm seven. No, 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 no. Don't start. Don't start. Sorry for not reading your um your 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 member thing. Your member thing. Death row. Member for two months. Hey, I have one of these neat. Don't know what else to say. So why I well you know what? Thank you for being here. I know you've technically been a little member for a little bit longer than one month, and you've been here for a while. So I'm gonna thank you for just being here in general because even so, two months. And a little bit more is so crazy. So thank you seriously for the support. I've been, I've been super fucking blessed to have the support that I've been getting from you guys. And so yeah, <laughs> I've been super fucking blessed. I, I can't even like express it. It makes me so happy. I thank you. <laughs> I feel so weird. I it's so it's. I keep saying this, but it's really weird thanking people because I never know what is an appropriate amount of thank you. It's like, you know, like, do, do I need to say it like a billion times? Do I need to say it just like twice? Like, twice? Like, how do I, how do I properly thank someone? You know, which is, which is weird. I don't know. It's a weird little dilemma that I have in my head. It's not something I figured out quite yet. Did you buy the burger yet? Dog, what? What is you yapping about? What you talking about, Willis? You are weird. No, -uh. I'm not weird. I'm not weird. I don't know how to thank people, so I just don't. Tee hee. Thank you, thank you for thank you by the thank you stream. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Puck. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Pusky. Sorry, I can't fucking see. Such an aggressive rabbit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry if you hear clicking, by the way. I don't know if you can hear this. I'm fidgeting with a nail clipper right now because I've been on a binge where instead of doing my work like I'm supposed to, I'll sit there for an hour and dig out, like, my nails and stuff, eating ASMR when. I don't even know. I, I don't... Is that something you would like to see? <laughs> this implies you Lou isn't used to saying thank you. No, it's just that I'm I'm not used. I don't. It's really because I don't know. Like I'm the the issue is that I am so grateful and so thankful, but I never know how much is enough to express how thankful I am. Because I can't just keep saying like you usually in real life at least I am very much a physical person like I like I like hugging people to say thank you I like you know being like giving pats on the backs and stuff right and I you know you can't really like do that when you're a VTuber you can't really like show facial expressions like I said what you talking about will this come from we say in New Zealand um it's from an American TV show I forget what it's called um it's pretty old uh hold on. Where's that from? It's from um, Different Strokes by Gary Coleman. That was that's the kid's name, but you know who said that? Gary Coleman, Luke killed him, posted too. Yeah, exactly. You won't have nails by the time you're thirty at this point. Yeah, that's the whole point. Honestly, na you don't need nails. I already see that sexy ASMR. I see that sexy ASMR video you know already lou you have not watched it apparently then <laughs> you have not watched sexy asmr only real ones have seen sexy asmr and know what it truly is head pats thank you thank you i was thinking of lou was thinking of not thanking me because she's awkward and hates me specifically yeah i hate you specifically death row bless up gary coleman on god <laughs> on god that's what i'm saying that's an old reference. I used to watch that with my grandma. Uh, I used to watch, like, different strokes and also uh, Little Rascals, like the original one. Does anyone remember Little Rascals? That was a banger. I love that show. Perhaps no contact is a blessing because you literally don't shower. Uh-uh, nuh-uh. Ever since I've been on my antidepressants, I've been showering 
I'm I'm good, man. I'm good. Oh shit, yeah, I totally forgot. Dude, okay, something kind of funny happened. So, um I had to go to the doctor yesterday for a four-week checkup on that, right? She you know, she was like she was like, "Hey, Lou, you know, how how are the antidepressants going? You know, are are you like functioning? Are you, are they working? Are you happy?" And I was like, "Yes, they're functioning. They're working. I'm happy." She was like, "Great. Okay." Um, by the way, we have your blood test results back, and, uh, she diagnosed me with chronic need-to-go-outside disease. She- she literally- she literally said, you ha- you need to touch grass. And what that means is I have a severe vitamin D deficiency. <laughs> I have a severe vitamin D deficiency. <laughs> so, so, I- I'm also in a, in- in with also taking antidepressants, I am now also taking vitamin D supplements because I am pasty as fuck. I have a story about that today, actually. I was talking to one of my Japanese teachers and um, she, we were talking and you know, she was like, oh, you know, Luchan, Luchan, um, you know, you know, you, you look like the sidewalk. Your, your, your skin is the color of the sidewalk. And I was like, w what do you mean? She was like, you're pasty, you're pink, you're white. And I was like, <laughs> you know, I, I know, but you didn't have to point it out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she's taking the meds. She's betrayed us. Dude, I'm taking my meds. Chad is running away. No, no. Chat, don't leave me here! Don't leave me here! <laughs> me on the antidepressants and then Pekora fades from my room. I found out that she wasn't my girlfriend. I was just fucking my pillow all along and that's why it's crusty. Not because she didn't take a shower. Like chalk. Yeah, like chalk. <laughs> she was like, she was like, Luchan, your, your veins are blue! And I was like, yeah, I know, you don't have to point it out. <laughs> <laughs> Seems kind of racially motivated to bring up discrimination. No, 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 no. It's okay. I was, um... It's okay. It's kind of even, honestly, if we're talking about, like, racial discrimination. Because I was talking to my other friends, who who are also white, by the way, I should, I should mention. And I was like, do you think that ex-Japanese teacher knows that, like... They were committing... Do you think our Japanese teachers know that they were committing horrible atrocities during the war? And they were like, I, I don't know. Oh, that's a good, that's a good question. So, <laughs> so I don't know. But yeah, other than that, um, everything has been going pretty good so far, I guess. Um, you know, I was actually a lot less tired after the twenty-four hour stream than I thought I would be. You know, I told, I gave myself like a whole day to just sleep because I felt I would need it. And immediately after the stream, granted, I had just slept for three hours. I went back to bed until. Um, like, 3 or 4 p.m. my time, and then I woke up, and then I played Blue Archive, <laughs> and then I played Blue Archive until, like, 12, and then I went to bed. <laughs> so, do you not have any minority friends? Sounds kind of racist to me. No, I have plenty. I have plenty. We have a lot, I have a lot of minority friends, actually. I'm very, I'm very diverse. I'm very race forward. Seems like a lot of white supremacy. Oh, Lord, I'm gonna kill you. Shut up. <laughs> when you were eating your sandwich, did you confuse your hand with the bread? No, the bread is tan. It's different. Good Lord. Remember, white woman is a slur in loose server, apparently. What? Is this true? Huh? Where, where are you getting this information from? Lose a cunny tuber. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, listen, listen, listen. You know, some people will be like, wait, 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 blue archive is weird. Blue archive is weird. Listen, man, I'm there. The art is cute. The archive, the art, the, the art is cute. Okay, the art is cute. And, 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 <laughs> and the characters are funny. <laughs> listen, man. Listen, the art's cute. And the girls are cute. And that's it. I like I like girls. They have guns. They have guns, okay? They have guns and it's cute. That's that's my argument. And I don't care. It's a drawing, who cares? That's very true. That's very true. That's also my opinion on that. I do think that I do think the blue archive pedophilia jokes are really funny though. You know, it's like when you get blue archive installed, it just immediately puts you in like a database or something. I think that's funny. 
<laughs> Exclusive? Okay. Huh? It's because it's a lolly game, isn't it? No, no, it's because they have guns. And low-key, low-key, I actually really enjoy the gameplay. I was playing through it, and it's very addictive. I really like, um... Who is the character that I got? I got Mine, I think. She has, like, blue hair, I think? And, um, I really enjoy just, like, watching them run around in the little battle sections and the missions and stuff, because I just think that- I just think it looks cool, honestly. I really enjoy the battle mechanics. I think that they're fun. Wakamo, very cute. I don't know who that is yet. I'm still, like, account rank 5, but I have been enjoying it a lot, so... Who are you? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, she's kind of cute. Oh, she's kind of cute. Hello. She's a little- she's a little cute. I like her mask. That's cool. That's fire. That's heat. I saw a meme of guy playing person. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that too. I was like, hello. Well, that's so funny. That's probably the reason why you're there, huh? <laughs> there are real people being hurt every day and these people complain about cartoons. Yeah, I agree. I think it's really weird. I think it's really weird to complain about cartoons and go on like crusades and stuff about cartoons when there are real life people being trafficked every day. So... We all know worked with Epstein, so we don't deny your real reason. Well, um, whatever, I guess. <laughs> Hoshino, very cute, and she has a Beretta, Beretta 1301. Very cool. I agree. Yes, I agree. Listen, man. Cute anime girls with big guns. What more, what more of a reason do you have to, to not play? Lusbian? Yeah, unfortunately. I'm, I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment. Just, just give me a second. So, last origin, game plan stream. I actually don't know what that is. Hold on, I will, I will look it up. And the only thing with Blue, Car Blue Archive is that I know literally nothing about the game and I'm still really new at it. And so I don't know how the metas and stuff work and like what characters are good and what aren't. So I'm kind of just like throwing shit together and seeing if it works. So <laughs> Global might release by the end of the year. Pretty sure it's a gotcha game. Let me see here. What is this? Apparently it's not released in English yet, which is interesting. Hmm, could get in before it gets popular. I see, I see. Big guns because both are based. Very true, very true. Um, I have no actual problems with it. I'm just meaning about the stuff. Oh no, it's okay, I know you were. Don't worry, Killjoy, you're, or K Kilroy, you're, you're fine, don't worry. G-Man took the words right out of my mouth. Last origin is what happens when you ban in an Asian country, but they still need anime women. I see, I see, I see. We're sump, that's his trigger word. There's an EN patch, but it is absolutely not stream appropriate. It is fun though, okay. I might check it out. You said that was Lost Origin? Oh, I'll check it out. Um, there's, a, there's a few other, how's BA? Kind of dropped the game after the first day. I actually really enjoy it. Uh, I know you usually don't play gacha games for the gameplay, but I do actually really enjoy the gameplay. I, I have been enjoying the gameplay. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really give a fuck about the story in any capacity. I don't know if I should. I don't know if it's one of those things where it's like, oh, well, if you, and I don't know if it's like a Honkai Impact type thing where if I play through the story, it's gonna change my life and my outlook on everything forever. But um, I don't know. I usually don't really care about gacha game stories to, to be completely honest with you. I'm just there for the fucking gameplay and the characters, so. But last origin, I'll remember that, okay. Get a Trump style spray tan? No, I'm good. I don't, I don't want to look orange. That's, it's not my thing. Okay. I will say, you know, whenever, whenever you see like, I, I want to say like preppy, preppy girls and they have those orange spray tans for sort, for like dances or like dinners or something and it's supposed to be fancy. That shit's atrocious. It's gross. See, people say things aren't stream appropriate, but I've seen tons of people stream games like Honey Pop where I wouldn't normally consider it appropriate. The thing is, is that I don't, I don't think Hooney Pop is that bad, is it? I mean, I don't think Hooney Pop is that bad. There's no way Hooney Pop is that bad. There's no way. It's Hooney Pop. People, people made videos on it. Honkai Impact changed your life. Haven't you heard of the Bible? The Bible has nothing in comparison to Honkai Impact. You need to shut. You need, does Honk? Does the Bible have a relationship as good as Kiana's and May's? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. <laughs> Did did the Bible have Himiko in Final Lesson? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. But you like preppy girls? No, I don't. They're they're mean to me. They don't like me. They, I'm too degenerate for them. 
<laughs> Massive tanning was an old fad. My grandma spent an almost every day tanning. I don't know how people do that. That shit is so ugly. I, that's not even an old fad. People still do that. That's like still a thing. It's just like for like preppy people. Consider the following. If the actual nip is invisible down to the base of the surrounding land, it's fair game in Korea and thus in LO. Yeah. Korea has really weird regulations about that. I don't know why they do. I feel like it's one of those things where if you, you, you if you ban it, people are going to make more worse things. And they're going to try to get away with more and be more sneaky about it. So don't ban it. And then just have people enjoy like the vanilla shit because they can find it easy. You know? Might be wrong, but I think Judith from the Bible had a pretty cool story. Um, I have to remember who that is. Because when I thought of Judith, my mind went to the, uh, the song by Lady Gaga. Or was that Judas? That was Judas. Never mind. That is a book. That's the book of Ju- I knew that. Relates the story of God's deliverance. Huh. Interesting. I forgot. It's been so long since I've done anything church -wise. Oh, shit! Hello, and I had heaven. Welcome to the BMC. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Holy shit, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You have now been in in inducted into our cult. You, I am now giving you a space on the commune. commune. Please prepare to drink the Kool-Aid at my moment's notice. Thank you. <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you for joining the BMC. I really appreciate it. Burp, 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 burp. Um, bro, the father and the son. No. -uh. Consider a lot of uh, New York comes out of Korea. Weird how that lines up. I know. Weird how that lines up, huh? Weird. So strange. I'm just. I'm just. Yeah, exactly. Yes, you get it, Commando. You get it. It's Judas, dumbass. It's the same thing. You know, they both start with J. Whatever. It's same person. Same person. Really. Speaking of that. Uh, for my class, so I'm in a speech class, right? It's, uh, just some fucking 101 basic shit, right? Um, and, um, my teacher wants us to write, uh, ceremonial speeches. So that can be, like, a, an acceptance award speech. It can be, like, a wedding toast. It can be a eulogy. And listen, I had the funniest idea ever. I wanted to, to have a eulogy from the perspective of a of a of a disciple of Jesus, and have it be on Easter, and then and then the very end of the speech be like, oh wait, wh what are you saying? You're telling me he's risen? I don't know. I think that would be kind of funny. Judith is Judas for people with a lisp. I don't know what that means, but I'm, I'm I I don't know what it means, and I I don't know. I don't know if you're making a joke or if that sounds sarcastic. It's not sarcastic. I just genuinely don't know. I don't get it. Nothing makes more race than countries who massively produce and consume meat. NTR are weak men. Interesting. Nearly uh, 1,900 recruits. I know! We're so close! He got rezzed? Yeah, he got rezzed. He got Mercy rezzed. Mercy got her rez off cooldown and she resurrected Jesus. The ones whose hands eternally clasp. <laughs> speech class? They have speech classes for the dead? They break out of tarot cards too or straight to Ouija boards. Um... You might anger the Christians. That's okay. I don't care. Hey, I, I am a Christian. You know, I can say that. You know, it's it's funny. It's funny, actually. <laughs> um, we, so, so, so my school has a whole, people take a whole bunch of, like, gen eds and prereqs to kind of filter out people and make them drop out so they don't, like, waste resources on people. I hope that kind of makes sense. I don't know. So they can, like, milk money out of people, basically. It's kind of odd, but that means I have to go through, like, a shit ton of gen eds, which really, really sucks. So, whatever. 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 Um. Oh, yeah. So, I probably won't stream any this weekend, but I'm definitely going to be streaming a lot next week. Do you hear that Gen Z is actively moving against and towards vanilla because there's an oversaturation of wild shit on the internet? Yeah. That's, uh, I believe it. And I'm not saying I believe it because it's a good thing. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying I, I believe it because the, this generation for some reason is, this generation for some reason is really odd about, like, any sort of degenerate stuff. Not even degenerate stuff, they're just weird about, like, sex in general. Which you would think they would be much more sex positive because everyone is so much more accepting these days. 
but um but I but I don't know I don't know man I, it's very weird how people can be very much like sexuality positive but but then the same people who are extremely sexuality positive some re for some reason turn around and are like oh but 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 we can't have this actually but 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 but, but we can't have this I'm a visual learner by the way that's awesome be bean boy if you're that's that's nice that's nice um, that I'm that's that's nice it's probably a mix of that looking at millennials and seeing how wacky they are it's probably connecting the knots yeah that makes sense that makes sense respect the grind the school is based yeah I am um, yeah I'm sorry that I have to like cancel and move around streams a lot it's I'm just in school I, I sh I'm sure you guys understand it's pretty bad scene in, in that department as far as I remember back home oh geez wow that's scary. Yeah, no, no. That makes the jeez, man. Sorry. I hope it gets better for you. But yeah, um, it's been, I don't know. It's really weird. Sorry. I totally lost my train of thought. Can't believe people are scared of boobs. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. I think it's just because there was so much on the internet and now people are just like, me, 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 we have to protect kids. Even though kids have been, kids, kids saw like porn magazines even before the internet was a thing. Like it's whatever, man, whatever. It's pushback over the years, crazy amounts of stuff. I think generations do tend to shift away from each other. Yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. There is something to be said about like addiction and stuff and how like porn and stuff portrays women. But otherwise, like who gives a fuck? Who cares what people do? I thought, I thought you guys were, uh, like, four people doing whatever the hell they wanted in their bedroom. Why does it matter to you what they search on their computer as long as it's not, like, actual, like, kid stuff, right? You know? It's probably just a time and point where Overwatch had H content on the first page and Google results by just searching the name itself. Oh, yeah, I believe it. It's probably still even now. Overwatch's porn is more popular than it's fucking... Than it's than the game. Hi. Hi, Noble. What's going on, man? Time is probably now, G-Man. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Do you know that there's a new character in Overwatch? Google Overwatch gay images Doomfist X manga to learn more. Wow, I didn't know that. Hold on, uh, let me let me Google that actually. Y you're right. Let me let me let me look that up. That sounds really interesting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 don't don't don't, don't exit out. All right, all right, all right. Doomfist X manga Overwatch gay images. Let's see here. Images. Ah! What is this? You lied to me. You lied. You lied. Oh, man. And I still maintain it's the only reason that game wasn't instantly forgotten. Okay, I do think Overwatch in the beginning was really good, but Overwatch now is really ass. However, I do think that they're improving it because they're making better changes to the, 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 pay, the, the fucking beforehand where it was like super potato in. And now they're actually, you know, like, doing shit, and it's, like, good, and it's not... Yeah. I stopped recording anything before I was 10 because my dad was a point in and There's never any hope for me. True. True. Yeah. Very real. I think... Okay. When did My Little Pony come out? My Little Pony. When did, when did the, 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 the one that got... Uh... I have to look up French- uh, 2010? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. I- okay, so I was pretty young when My Little Pony came out, like the Friendship is Magic one. And, um... I wanna be so honest with you. So- so I browsed the internet in 2010, right? But I was still pretty young at the time, like, pre pretty- pretty fucking young, right? I'm gonna be so real with you. This fucking show is the reason that I got introduced to NSFW content. Because I remember, I remember, I was on my little Kindle fire. You know, I was looking up My Little Pony fan art. I look up, I look up My Little Pony Fluttershy fan art. And you know what I see? You know what I see? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I saw, but I'm sure that you can imagine. And so, you know, I, I look at the image, and you know... Little little elementary school me is like, I'm like I'm like I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, fl 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 Fluttershy wouldn't do that. 
so yeah anyways it, it's that sucked that sucked and i'm never gonna forget bro i'm never gonna forgive bronies for what they did to that show i'm never gonna forgive them so 2010 she was young yeah listen man listen i was i was a young and i'm back my dear and beloved rubber girl what's up Buddhist? what's going on maybe kids should be banned from the internet they should be banned from the internet i am fully and wholehearted i agree listen man i do not like kids on this app i there is no moral reason for the or justification for the existence of porn i don't really care i think people can do whatever they want I just don't think that we should show it to kids, and that's my opinion on that. Hi, I'm seven. I'm gonna kill you. You're you're gonna die. But yeah, I don't know. That shit was that shit was wild, actually. Bronies were one of the original cancers of the internet. True. True. <laughs> True. Yeah, I don't know. But I have been on the internet for a while, at the very least. I remember. It used to be. Oh, like 2007 or something? I don't know. I think when I first started using it, it was like 2006 or 2007. So. Apologize on behalf of the Brony Phantom. It's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you. You guys you guys may have brought uh, the, the, the jar meme into the world, but that, that's okay. I, I don't know if you can be forgiven, but you know. God said not to judge. So I won't judge. <laughs> Funny kid, kids are bullied out of every space they found their way into. Now it's mean and discriminatory. I know. We need to bully kids. We need to, we need to beat sense into kids. What happened? Hello, adorable one. Just doing some schoolwork. Hello. Hello. I hope your schoolwork is going good. I'm gonna have to probably do schoolwork here myself in a few minutes. I did say that this stream was gonna be pretty short because I unfortunately do have a lot of schoolwork to finish. But because I got a really big exam done today that I had been studying for, um. To, done today, which I think I passed, so I think we're good. Um, that took like a big chunk of worry out of my list, and now if I just get some other stuff done, as well as the collab stuff for tomorrow, then um, I think I'm gonna be all good. It's we're gonna be completely we're gonna be completely Gucci. Too accessible, and kids have no problem getting access to it. It's definitely too accessible. It's definitely too accessible. I definitely agree with you, and I think that people should do more about it. But at the same time, eh, I don't know. But whatever, I'm not a politician, I'm just a fucking bunny, so whatever. It's not my- it's not my job to worry about moral and ethical things. I can just be my degenerate little self on the internet and like play Blue, Ar Blue Archive and stuff and hang out with other degenerates. I'm just reading about the slides for my lecture on my scroll- my soil for my envi environmental sustainability class. That's awesome! That's huge, actually. That's a pretty banging class. I would love to take a class like that. All the classes I've taken so far have been pretty, uh... Well, I guess I wouldn't say pretty basic, because I, I take a lot of interesting stuff for my, um, my major. But, uh, so yeah, that's a pretty interesting class. Damn. Learning about dirt. Dirt has a lot of stories to tell. I mean, dirt is a very interest. it's a very interesting way and a really cool way to tell history. So, I definitely do think we should study dirt. All I can say is, get up! get down if you're gonna come around we can work together to help twilight sparkle win the crown i love that fucking song dude oh my god i loved it it was so good so good see so one guy one jar of course who hasn't seen who hasn't seen one guy one jar good lord beating kids sign me up very true the guy kept getting his phone confiscated by his parents for not to map porn Ooh, that's gross ew fucking love dirt true any politician leaving town hall to play blue archive <laughs> saw something so good equestria girls was great i agree i was actually re-watching my little pony like maybe like a year ago like i got like for, through the first season or something and i was like damn this show is actually way better than i remember it being like this is a, this is actually a very solid kids show so i guess i'm not mad at it for existing and equestria girls is still a banger like that's that shit still holds up so I did agriculture in school. Oh, shit, man. Nice. Just learned that it takes a thousand years to create one inch of soil. That's true. So, so there's actually this really cool thing called green burial. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. It kind of encompasses a whole bunch of different stuff, but there's this really cool thing called terramation or composting, which goes into it. And you can literally just get fucking composted and it's awesome. It's so cool. Hold on. Um, composting. 
your human body. Um, there's, I, I forget what the, I forget what the, um, hmm. Okay. Here's the actual stat on it. So, if you decide to get composted, which I think is really interesting, you, your body will create one cubic yard of soil, which I think is so awesome. Do, do you know how much a yard is? One cubic yard of soil? That's fire. I would love to be soil. I, I, like, I don't know about you, but I think that would be awesome. Soil and green, no of it, good lord. I had literally found out that Fluttershy ends up with Discord. Give me whiplash when I found that out last one. What? Uh, I mean, I guess. When I die, just throw me out in the trash. Okay, that is not how composting works, but that, that is not how that works. That's not how that works. But it's probably for average height, you'd be lucky to make half a yard of dirt with your height. I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna die, actually. Smush, 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 get composed. Smush, 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 get composted, get composted, get composted. You quite literally return to the earth. Exactly. I think that's beautiful. I think that's beautiful. Listen, call me a hippie, whatever, man. I would love to be composted. I would love to be composted. And I would love to, like, become a tree or something. You know, people use my body to, like, plant a tree or something. That shit would be fire. I would love to be composted. That would go nuts. It's expensive, though. Grow me into something that lasts forever. Go for it. Of course. I'm, I'm going to use my soil to grow a redwood tree. Would you want to be composted before or after Mortis? What the fuck? Are... What? You, what? I can't tell if you're making a joke about faith or if you're like trying to say rigor Mortis, but you just forgot about the rigor part. There's meaning behind it if nothing else. Better than basic cremation in my eyes. Yeah. And also... I'm also trying not to be like a hippie about it, right? But like cremation, if we're looking at like the actual stats of it and shit, you get turned, when, when you get turned into ashes, those are non-biodegradable, right? So you're gonna be ashes forever. You're gonna basically be plastic degrading in the environment, which is pretty bad for the environment. And also, I forget the amount of energy it takes. I think this is the right stat statistic, but it might not be. Um but one cremation is about the same amount of energy that a car would take on a 900 mile trip and 900 mile trips usually happen in a few days and cremation usually happens in 30 minutes to an hour so yeah have you seen the fallout show no not yet i've been too busy to watch any tv I did rewatch uh, the Scott Pilgrim movie though recently, which was really good because I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely a rewatcher. I, I like to rewatch the same like five movies, and my same five movies that I like to rewatch are Scream, Scott Pilgrim, Zombieland, Monster House, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> so uh, I guess you could also add Evangelion into there, but I mean, I don't really watch Evangelion. I mean, well, I mean, I do, but like, what, whatever, whatever, whatever. Also goes hell back into mythology. Several gods were put into trees. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, Ash just needs a bombing flight, which ain't so good. Yeah. Mortis is death. He's asking you to be composted before or after death. How the fuck would I be composted before? What? Is cremation, it saves land for burial. Yeah. Cremation, especially in parts of like England, is honestly like the only option. Um because they have so little land space usually in places like england i don't know if this is still the case but during the middle ages and the 1800s it was you had to rent out burial space and then after 20 years you would have to dig up your loved one and move them to like a different grave so that someone else could dig the burial space because <laughs> they had no fucking land which i think is really funny logic not just coming from coffin and Manny and Lele. no <laughs> i thought ashes are made of sort of fertilizer i guess human ashes that's quite the same as no human ashes are not the same because human ashes are made out of bone and because they're incinerated at such a high temperature they become bio on biodegradable volcanic ash is very very different because it's made out of different uh base materials the at the beginning of the scream it's gonna be quickie i gotta do all that stuff tomorrow <laughs> jesus i'm gonna kill you you're gonna die it's the craziest thing about dirt is that if we come it, but it's really expensive but it is it's cool it's cool apparently ashes can be dissolved but it takes up one million years yeah exactly 
don't bring up mythology i'm such a nerd for mythology dude i actually watched the percy jackson live show of the tv show dude it was so good i think i've like officially been converted into a percy jackson fan i would love to read the novels but like i said i'm fucking busy monster house goes hard Monster House does go hard. Monster House is such an insanely good film, and it holds up super well for being made in, like, what, 2000-something? 2000-something? How would I be complex before? Congrats, Lou. You got the joke five minutes later. I'm sorry! It didn't make sense! There was no punchline! It's not my fault. My mom wanted to... Here we go. I'm gonna move myself up a little bit. My mom wanted to be cremated and ashes scattered via motorcycle ride. Oh, that would have been nasty. That would have been fire. Hold on. There we go. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, due to class, we couldn't give her that. It still haunts me. So, was she buried? I think you mentioned something about her being buried. I want to remind you that if you get the cemetery's permission, I'm pretty sure you can still dig her up. That sounds that sounds evil, but like you, you should be able to at some point if you save up the money. Cremation is pretty expensive, so I understand, though. In Hong Kong, where you can... In Hong Kong, where there's also no fucking land there, you have graveyards with walls and cubes where you put ash jars into. They stack up, like, six rows for many walls. Yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of why I enjoy living in America, because we have the space to do, like, the nice cemeteries and everything, but also... Jesus Christ, dude. Damn, you caught my GPA. My grandpa wanted his ashes spread in Yosemite, and it's insane how much they, they charge you for that. Who's gonna find out you did it anyway? Yeah, d don't tell people you're gonna go spread ashes. I do not want granny dust in my air conditioning. <laughs> and thank you, chat, for the bless you. I appreciate Minecraft did teach me that there was more trees than oak. I didn't know there was such a thing as birch trees before playing. What? You didn't know that birch trees existed? Nah, I'm gonna be buried. Are you sure? Well, cremation isn't my thing. Those big urn memorial things are kind of neat. True. Um... Uh, most of the people in my family have gotten cremated, so I'm- I'm not- I- I'm- I- if- if the other options of burial did not exist, I would probably do that. But... I would've become dirt. I think that's cool. Because the way that they do it in the facility that- Because they- they have, like, facilities and stuff. It's one specific company that does it, which- Uh, whatever. That- that kind of makes me a little bit angry that it's one specific company, but, you know, whatever, I guess. Whatever. Um, you, you, because of, they, they don't, like, you, you decompose on your own and you don't decompose with, like, bugs, I don't think. Buried in a local town run cemetery, they'll let me do it if I come into money, but the nearest crematorium charges near 10k. Jesus Christ, at that point, just put her on a, at that point, just put her on a pyre, dude. That's so expensive. Wasn't that plot in South Park, where Kenny eats, Carmen eats Kenny Asters and keep his soul? I don't know, that's a, that's a good question. I don't know. I feel like if I was to have ashes, I would want someone to eat them just to see what they would taste like. I think that would be cool. If someone offered for me to eat their ashes, I would probably try at least a bite of it and spit it out and be like, pleh. But you know, I'm gonna freaking let the birds get to my flesh. True. Very true, actually. That, that's very interesting. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, like, bodies that have been picked apart by vultures, but it's it's very interesting because usually the bones will be picked clean, but you they'll be, like, frayed and stuff. It's very, very fascinating. I do not fully expect to have enough left to bury Mameo. Fair enough, man. Tastes like sand, basically. Do you know from experience? Mmm, loose seasoning. Exactly. The loose salt. I want to be cremated just to become a spilling, spilling hazard for future generations. Very true. Very based of you, I think. I've always said I'd like my court to be dumped in some forest so the wildlife can be something. Yeah, honestly, I mean, you're giving back to the environment. I, even if that's like a, haha, I just want to be eaten thing. I don't know. I think that's kind of nice. Because at least, you know, your body is being used to be, like, fed people. I don't think that's that bad. Cannibal and Annie and Lele fan. Many such cases. Hey, man. You know, don't knock it until you try it. <laughs> But they also have an embalming fluid man that can kill you. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I'd have to ask my professors if that's possible. Because I don't know if the, the extreme amount of heat would take out the embalming fluid stuff. So, and to make your ashes into bone bread, go ahead. I think that would be fucking banger. That would be so fucking baller, actually. And yeah, the bones get splintery versus roaches, which leave the bones spick and span. True. Getting buried is too romantic to pass up, though. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I, I just, 
there's something I, I whenever I think about I want my ashes dumped in the most illegal place possible. Go, have like one of your friends go up to the top of the Empire State Building and just like dump your ashes off. <laughs> oh man. Or have them go to a zoo and feed it to the animals. That'd be funny. I don't know. If, if I think about people getting buried, I get really sad because it's like, oh, you're, you're alone and underground forever and you're just going to slowly decompose and rot. And then I get really sad thinking about it like that, but I don't know. I mean, pine convicted pedos, etc. should be given to science for experiments and not buried. That was actually a thing for a very long time, I'm pretty sure. Um, so how body donations usually work, at least in the state that I am in, you know, um, which it can vary from state to state. Um, so, uh, but I, I'll, I'll start off with the history of body donation. So um, the, 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 the field of funeral work and stuff um, is actually doing a lot of work right now in recovery from some earlier sins that they may have or may not have committed. Um, a lot of the time, medical schools and places that would like practice and would need like cadavers and stuff for the med students to practice on, especially in like the early 1900s, would take like poor people off the street or like inmates and stuff. And e like even without their consent, even if they did really bad stuff, like they would just like take their bodies and experiment on them. Um, I don't know all of the details myself. I'm sure you could look it up if you really wanted to, but, um, that is something that happened, so. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. If you ever thought about donating your body to science, uh, make sure that you're in the height and weight limit and see and talk, talk to your, um, talk to your death person about it. Talk, put it, put it in your will because we have to get your body fresh, so. <laughs> oh, man. I used to work at a dairy farm with an open air pit for dead bovines, so I've seen pretty much every stage of decomposition. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a pretty interesting thing. I don't I don't I don't think it's it's weird. It's just like a stage of life. I think it's pretty interesting. The time your funeral's over, your body has basically no nutritional benefit. That's true. If I die, I want to sacrifice myself to the others to get away from trouble. Um, da, 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 I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. The resurrection is a movement I learned about t today in the 19th century Britain, I believe. Heard about it from the great Ace Attorney. Med students would grace rob bodies for private spending. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's exactly what I was talking about. They wouldn't even steal valuables. They'd steal bodies. Yep. <laughs> that is, in fact, a British moment of... Say, that's a British moment. Went to my mom's grave a couple days ago. Realized, decided my mom isn't in the ground, but in the, the room of the house she died. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Yeah, that makes sense. I can understand how that would help you. I, I, I do the same thing, too, because with my dad, you know, he was cremated and everything, right? And, um... I would, I would get, like, really freaked out when I would have the, like, thought of, oh, he isn't even technically, like, here, like, physically. And then I remember that I actually, like, have his ashes and everything in, like, a little, like, locket thing. And I'm like, oh, wait, yeah, he is. What the fuck am I talking about? I literally have him, like, on my person. I have I have dead human remains on my person at the moment, actually. Prisoners have no rights, apparently. I think prisoners should have rights. Do I, I don't think pedophiles or rapists should have rights. I, I hope that's not controversial. <laughs> Actually, I think pedophiles and rapists are probably, like, you know, put put to fucking death. Like, lambs to the slaughter. So. Wait for funeral homes to get the horse grinding machine. <laughs> Decomposition can, can be hardcore. It can be hardcore. Yeah. It's pretty interesting, though. That's why every family should work together to build a tomb. Then they can be locked away together. I kind of like that. I think that's romantic in a sort of way. I, I see that a lot because I live kind of out in the country. And so, you know, when you're driving along, you'll see a lot of, like, family graveyards, family plots that have a lot of old graves and stuff. And even new ones, really. I think that's really sweet. When, people, when families are buried next to each other and stuff, I think that's very nice. Well, if they steal a body, they have plausible deniability. If they have the buried jewelry on them, there's not really an environmentally. Yeah, true. You don't believe you should have rights? I didn't do that. Only people have rights and I get to decide who qualifies as people. Exactly. It's actually a very popular opinion. Good. I, I, was, I was hoping. I was hoping it would be. So. Oh, man. Chat, I'm going to be so real with you. I've been having, like, the worst allergies of my life. I've been sneezing and rubbing my eyes like crazy. It hurts. Ow. 
My eyes are like watery. Ugh, gross. I'm gonna give myself fucking pink eye. Base families build, build pyramids for themselves. Dude, I should have a pyramid built for me. I should build my own fucking pyramid. That would be so- that would be so fucking baller. Mini pyramid should make her turn. There's actually- oh fuck, what was it called? Hold on, give me like one second. I forget what it was called, but the Egyptians kind of had mini pyramids. You know, like, obviously not everyone got built in a pyramid, right? But, um, not everyone got buried in a fucking pyramid because you had to be a pharaoh or someone important to the pharaoh, right? But, um, hold on. Where is it? Do, 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 do. I wonder if I can find it. Um... Da, 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 da. We magnetize it to half day. This time I want you, you, you do like it's magnetic. Super good. Okay, sorry, I was having a moment. Um, uh, where are my notes on this? Sorry, one second. Um. So. Eh? Did I just skip over it? No way. No way I just skipped over it, right? Oh, here it is. Hold on. What was it called? Mustabas? Yeah, okay. So, this is like a mini pyramid. It is called M-A-S-T-A-B-A-S, -A -A Mastabas. And um, if you weren't like a, like a, like a, like a pharaoh or something, this is the shit you would get buried in. Like, obviously they also had like, you know, poor people graves, but like, you could be buried in one of these pretty feasibly, you know? Which is pretty interesting. <laughs> Fund my pyramid chat. Fund my pyramid. I'm gonna be buried as a, in a pyramid. You need a Bass Pro Shop size pyramid grade. Yes, it'll just have calamari on it. On it. Get buried in the Bass Pro Shop pyramid. Oh my god, that would be a dream come true. A dream fucking come true. It blew my mind how different it looked when it was first completed. Really? Why don't you just go small Egyptian pyramids? Because I want to remember my notes. Just did the quiz and I got a 9 out of 10. Woo! Congratulations! Well deserved, well deserved. Anyways, I work tomorrow, so night night. I will see you later. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I I'm you you worked hard, so sleep well. Sleep well. The government will be able to take me out of the sculpture in my backyard. Very true, very true. Which, um, I know it's not legal in some states, but in some states you can just bury people in your backyard. So uh you know, that is technically legal. That is a thing you can do. I know some states it's not legal. And also, I don't know if you live in one of those, like, housing associations, you know, they might not want someone buried in their backyard, but, you know, who's really gonna fucking stop you? I mean, the fucking housing, ho homeowners association, who cares, man? Pyramids are expensive, maybe we can put together a treasure chest and a post-it note. Hey, that'll work. That'll work. I want to be buried. I want to, when the time comes, have a chat with the gods. True. True. Oh, man. Oh god, I should take a shower. I feel gross. <sighs> it's also been an hour. So, I might unfortunately end the stream here. Because I should probably do my stuff and get my work done. Because work, 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 work. But next week we'll have a full week of streams. Probably a five day week, so... I know, wow, maybe not, maybe not a five day week, but at least, a f um, we'll have at least four streams, so, but I, I thank you guys for being, pa oh shit, sorry, thank you guys for being patient with me while I am working out school stuff, because school hates me in lots of assignments and stuff, um, yeah, so, thanks for being patient with me. 
It's fine. Do what you need, rabbit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's not a small pyramid loot. It's average size. I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna die, actually. Dude, hello, Star Sergeant. What's, what's up, man? But yeah, um, I, I, I have to prepare some stuff for the, the... I have to prepare some stuff for the collab tomorrow. This is your. This is a reminder to submit your feet to the Google Doc link. Uh, it's in my Discord. Join my Discord. Um, join my Discord. You can submit your feet to be reviewed tomorrow. I will be on Rosa's channel. Um, and yeah, so taking a shower. No, that's hard for you to do. Congrats. <laughs> you're, you're, you're too kind to me. Wow. Remember to take some time for yourself too. True. True. No, don't shower. You smell so nice. So you guys are mentally ill. Recommend the parts to replace my 2DS circle pad and a kit to do it. Ooh, congratulations. That's awesome. Feet. Yeah. But yeah, um, by the way, your images will be deleted after, so please don't worry. They will they will not be leaked. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I just thought it was funny. I just thought it was funny, okay? And yeah, so... Too shy to show my feet? That's okay. I won't tell anybody. I won't tell. I won't tell. It's okay. I won't tell. I won't tell. <laughs> Don't be like, just show on my stream with your full legal name. Of course. That's not le It's not leaking if you gave me the information. It's not leaking if you gave me the information. Just keeping it for herself. No, save the feet things forever. Need to submit mine. No. Yeah, submit yours. Submit yours. Uh, submissions are closing tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ow. I hit my foot on the fucking desk. Pretending you don't have a folder on your desktop with every file name in excruciating detail yeah we have some crazy photos to go over and i'm excited to actually collab with rosa for the first time and i think you guys are gonna like her so yeah i'm really excited isn't it it's about consent you can send someone you'd see someone essentially and they can leak them true just join the server welcome 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 but yeah, uh, I think that's probably going to do it for the stream. I'm going to send out a reminder on the Discord about the stuff going on tomorrow. So if you forget, don't worry. There will be a reminder. Um, join the Discord. Follow my Twitter. Follow my TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube. Whatever. Fuck, man. Like the video. I, I don't know. Whatever. But yeah. And I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for just existing and hanging out with me. I really do miss you guys. I know I'm, I know I was like, I'm gonna push the stream back by like an hour today. But listen, man, I didn't eat anything. So <laughs> bye bye, have a good night. Thank you. Rose is pretty cool. She watches videos with her chat on Discord. Yeah, that's awesome. She's she's very sweet. Um, we've spoken a few times over text. She's, she's super nice. So I'm really excited and hopefully we're gonna hit it off really well. So yeah. Okay, I think I followed you on TikTok, but I still haven't gotten the follow back. Thought we were moots. I'm gonna kill you. I haven't actually checked my TikTok in like fucking forever. I really want to upload more TikToks. I think it'll be funny if you starve to death. We can't watch Lou anymore. True, true. So that means you gotta you gotta work work for the company. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Good night, everybody. I will see you all later. Thank you so much for tuning in. And yeah, I think that's just about gonna do it. Oya Lumi, say it back. Oya Lumi. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Oh, yeah, Louis. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Bye. I gotta turn off my mic, but bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, Louis.